Hey, Gem Car Lovers. Uh, we're here to go over the Chargery 1500 watt 25 amp off-board battery charger. Uh, this is sitting on the dash of the Gem Car right now just to kind of uh, give you an idea what we're looking at. But normally, I just have it sitting on the shelf over there and you simply connect it to the Gem Car using this uh, quick connect disconnect. Plugs into a standard 110 outlet. Um, it does work with the Chargery uh, BMS24. Uh, which is my onboard battery monitor. Um, this kind of gives us some redundant information, but it gives you a way better idea of what's going on. Um, there is a one-time kind of setup that you need to do to kind of like tell the uh, battery charger what uh, charge parameters you're looking for. And I'll just take you through that right now. Right now it's saying it's in idle mode, but simply press this uh, one time and it brings us into the battery type. You can choose whatever chemistry you like here. Um, and then this takes you to uh, the different charge parameters. I'm running 24 cells, so that's what I have here. Uh, your charge current, it's set at 10 amps right now, but you can go as high as 25 amps. Um, you can uh, change your end current, your end voltage, uh, restart charge, etc. There's a couple other features in here that I haven't really played with, but those three things are pretty much what you adjust and then um, leave, leave alone. Um, like I said, once you charge those things, the battery charger does remember what's going on. So you don't have to do this rigor and more every time you decide to charge. You just simply uh, plug the uh, quick disconnect in and then hit the start button and you're good to go. So we'll just go and uh, start the battery charger by, let's see, press and hold. Okay, so here we go. Battery charger is just firing up. It's saying we're pushing 97.4 volts at 10.1 amps, 19 milliamps. The zero minutes is because the charger just started and the temp meter is not accurate right now. Actually, I think the temp meter is something to do with the onboard circuitry. But uh, right now the battery, the BMS is telling us we're pushing 10.2 uh, amps. This thing's saying 10.1, so it's fairly close. Um, and our voltages are, the, are are right there, so um, it appears to be working. It does have an onboard fan, and it's kicking in and kicking out depending on your uh, amperage. But um, yeah, we just wanted to uh, kind of go over some of the basic features. You might ask yourself, why would I need an offboard battery charger? Well, uh, a couple reasons. You might want to uh, quick charge, so you could use this thing to go 25 amps, and your stock Delta Q will go 10. So that's a 35 amp input if your batteries will take it. Um, you have a little bit more of control of what chemistry you have to, do, to, to play with. You might not wanna take the Delta Q out of your car and have it reprogrammed um, to, to do the charging. So you can let this do it. Um, there could be other reasons. You could have other different battery chemistries laying around that you wanna play with and, and charge up. but. Um, this little suitcase unit seems to be pretty nice. It's it's really small. It's the size of a uh, small telephone book, I guess. Anyways, um, that's it for now, and um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks, David.